on Sir Alfred James. Here's War Toxin. In the gate. Racy the Frank Whiteley. Youngest to five with a good break, so two War Toxin will settle here on the inside is Baracho. So Baracho is up front from War Toxin, up close there. And Youngest to five, very in third position. Down to the inside is Sir Alfred James trying to keep close. Is about five off the speed as they race down the back stretch now. In the meantime, outside, here comes a Disco Ferro, and Disco Ferro's now taken third. So it's Baracho, a neck in front from War Toxin. And the outside is Disco Ferro. Down to the inside, Youngest of five, and threes over deuces a close fifth in between horses and Mahoffet than Sir Alfred James. Now in the back as they round the far turn. Five and a half lengths from front to back. Opening quarter mile in 22.51. They're cooking up a good pace up front. It is Baracho down to the inside and right there too is War Toxin on the outside now. His Disco Pharaohs making a move and Mahoffet on the scene on the far outside and threes over deuces racing along in between horses. They're followed by Youngest of Five and Sir Alfred James yet to pick it up from the back into the stretch. Disco Pharaoh, that half mile was 45.34, and Disco Pharaoh's in front by three lengths. Threes over deuces from between horses. War Toxin, and then on the outside is Mohafet, followed by Youngest of Five, down at the rail. Disco Pharaoh, Disco Pharaoh's got his groove going by three. Disco Pharaoh in the Frank Whiteley. Photo second, Mohafet, who ran a big one, and then it was threes over deuces in the photo as well, followed by Youngest of Five. And the Frank Y. Whiteley go to Disco Fair, trained by Ray Handel, written by the man standing on my left here, Javian Toledo. Javian, a wonderful performance there, a bit of an unexposed son of American Pharaoh. Did Ray give you any instructions going in? Did you have a game plan uh, to execute? First, I want to say thanks God, thanks Ray and his owner for the opportunity. Uh, he don't really give me more instruction, you know. He just, just asked me about the color. The color was here, really. Uh, 
Uh, my plan was to be close, you know, the way he run last time, the way he win, and I break out of the gate. He kind of step back a little bit when the doors open, so that was he kind of break half as slow. But I put him right in the outside, and uh, he's a nice horse, you know. He grabbed me the beat, and I just laying in the outside of that horse, and when I asked him, he just exploded, he just took off. I was about to say you were joined by a couple of others at the top of the lane. Did you know you had enough underneath you to win by a couple of lengths? Oh, for sure. I feel I got a ton of horse, you know, and he's a really nice horse, you know. He just beat these horses. These horses that are nice horses, you know, horses that win stakes. The horse, the number eight, he just finished second in a great three. Uh, the horse, I think, got a great future. Yeah, fast improving, son of American Pharaoh. Really enjoyed watching him. I know you got another ride coming up uh, in the race next, the next race, Penny Baker. I wish you the best of luck with her as well. We know we don't know that much about it. Did you get any instructions from Michael Stidham beforehand? Of course, she came over from Europe. Uh, I told me kind of break good and set right whatever she's comfortable and try to make a good move. Penny Baker, that is in the heavenly course, of course. Uh, Disco Pharaoh here for trainer Ray Handel. We were all wondering how good this runner was really going to be. Well, he certainly showed us here in the Frank Y. Whiteley.